So you've created your template in Elementor Pro, you've gone through, done everything you want, got it looking great, and then you find you've either made a mistake in the condition or you need to update the condition or change it. Well, how do you do that? Where is it? It's a little buried away, and in this quick tip for Elementor Pro, I'll show you exactly how you can go in, where you can find it, and how you can update the conditions that apply to any of the templates you create. So let's just jump in and take a look right now. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Okay, so as I've said at the opening of this video, we've created some conditions, but we need to go back in and change those in our templates in Elementor Pro. So what I've done is I've jumped into Elementor, come into my template section, and you can see all of my templates are listed in this section under my templates. Now you can see if you take a look at the artist page, I've got two instances, and that's my conditions that I've set up. Now I need to go and change those or make some alterations, whatever you kind of want. But it's very easy to do. What we need to do is come in and click on Edit with Elementor. That'll load up the Elementor editor, and then we can go in and start adjusting those conditions. So now that we've got the editor open, where do we find this particular piece of information? Where do we find those settings? Well, they're in a pretty obscure place, to be honest. If we come down on the left-hand side, you can see you've got the Update button and a series of icons. If we click on the little arrow to the right-hand side of the Update button under Save Options, you'll see because this is a template with conditional logic applied to it, we have a third entry that says Display Conditions. If we click on there, that'll open up the Display Condition options, and we can then go through and add, edit, or delete any of the conditions we've applied to this particular template. That's really all there is to it. But I really wish this is one of those things that sometimes Elementor, as great as they are, they hide things away. And this is something that, if you ask me, should be in the templates sort of listing section. You can see in there and you can come in and edit any of the template conditions that are applied or go in and add new conditions if there's not one applied to your template. Well, that's it. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. A quick tip pretty useful. If you don't have Elementor Pro and you consider purchasing it, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It helps support the channel, doesn't cost you any more money, but does give a small percentage back. Well, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the channel. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, pop those in the comments section below. Let's get a conversation going. Well, until next time, take care.